updated you on anything I've read. So this week I'm, I've probably done an intro for this, but I'm doing reading Greek retellings for a week because I'm back at uni. My dissertation is kind of all on Greek retellings. There's more that goes into it, but I realise I've not updated you, so. <laughs> Today is Monday <laughs> and the first book that I'm reading is Ariadne by Jennifer Saints. I just I've had this book on my TBR for so long. Uh, this was sent to me by one of my BookTok friends through my Amazon wishlist so long ago, like two years ago. Um, and I'm only just starting to read it. So I've made some good progress though. I'm on page 175 and I think I was on 130. But I've also like really been annotating this. Like if you look at the tabs, I've really been annotating this and this is my key so we've got changes to the narrative, literary thoughts so that's some things that don't really fit into any other category like more like analytical, society, depictions of women slash attitudes towards women, the play of the gods slash divinity and then Greek myth so just kind of bits of Greek myth that are being told to us so we there was a story about Medusa in here and um there's one about Poseidon so as I am reading these books I'm also going to be heavily annotating them so if I don't read as many this week that's why but I'm like I know I'm really hoping to read three books this week because I've kind of been in, in a bit of a slump um since I've come back to uni I've just not gravitated towards anything I finished Our Violent Ends and that took me about a week which for me is very I know for some people that's like oh my god that's a really bad I'm a fast reader like I could, I could have read that in a day. So I'm hoping to read three books this week. So update on the book. I am loving this book. I feel like we're getting with, I'm just, because I'm spending so much time with it, I'm really enjoying it. I'm also loving Phaedra because she is not a big fan of Theseus. And I was under the impression that because in the original Greek myth, this is not a spoiler because it's Greek myth. We've been around for a while. Um, she marries Theseus, so I was under the impression that she was like gonna steal her away, him away from Ariadne. And I'm like, that's just not what the book is about. The book is like a feminist retelling and I'm like, the sister's gonna steal away the boy. And I'm like, that is, that is systematic patriarchy and systematic misogyny that I've been brought up with by society playing being played like laid right in front of me so i'm deconstructing that and i'm realizing that phaedra doesn't want to marry him and actually theseus is the bad guy because he is she's so complex and she's given like, such a personality and she's really not defined by the action of saving theseus because this is the thing like everyone's like theseus saved all of these people by killing the minotaur but ariadne technically did that and saved him. God bless. Okay. struggling to get through this book because i'm annotating like i'm enjoying the book the book is so good but just because i'm annotating it so heavily it's making it very very difficult um to get through it like i'm only on page 230 just like i just want to finish it like i haven't finished a book in so so long i just really want to finish my book but it's pretty difficult nothing really new has developed in the book it's kind of um just the same type of things but i'm really loving it i would recommend it but i'm hoping to finish this by tomorrow so i can pick up a new book i'm thinking i'm thinking a thousand ships that's what i'm leaning towards right now
sorry if this video is super boring it's been a while since i filmed my like greek retellings thing yesterday i read nothing because i had like a um i'm gonna call it a rot day i was in bed <laughs> depressed all day it was fun um i'd been out the night before and kind of just hit rock bottom the next day and now i'm fine i was supposed to go on a run this morning with my friend and it's six, it's 6 30 my alarm went off and i was like no way i'm so i didn't sleep last night which was so fun um i had a bad day the day before i was like you know what no i'll take the day off <laughs> i'll go running tomorrow uh but that's what i'm currently doing so what have i read so far i've read i know it's not a greek retelling but i ha also haven't included this i've been reading the emily wilson translation of the odyssey um all week so on and off all week i'm currently on book 13 i think i started this week on book eight so i've read five books of the odyssey which is really exciting i'm very happy about that and i'm still reading ariadne like i can't explain why this book has taken me so long to read but it is i'm loving it enjoying it it's so great like i would recommend this book 100 percent. it's so fun um but it has taken me a while to read to be fair like she's tabbing it so i can see why but yeah so the goal for today is to literally read book 13 and then finish this book because i have so many other books that i need to read ready for my dissertation meeting to be like when they ask what have you read and i'm like here's my extensive list my list is not looking extensive enough right now uh so yeah this is what's happening ariadne we've just reached a point where it's like it's so frustrating because obviously this is a retelling of the myth and I was googling the myth because I wanted to know what was even more fictionalized and what was actually like real like real in the myth um and we've just got to a bit with Phaedra where I'm like oh it's like this is just her story this is just like it's it's like Romeo and Juliet whenever you read a Romeo and Juliet retelling you're like I don't want it to go that way this is gonna go the way, like just the original way. It's it's hard to explain. If you know the story of Ariadne, Phaed Phaedra, um, and Theseus, then you'll get it. But yeah, okay. So I'm gonna read some of this now. Um, read my read the Odyssey, and then I have like some. Oh shoot, I have some. <laughs> it's bad guys. <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you'll know you'll know the contempt I have for this book, and it's back because. I can't remember what happens. So I need to do some chapter summaries. So I'm gonna go to town and get some like record cards and like put them in between the chapters. Because my my tutor the other day, this is not about great retellings, but I'm gonna tell you. My tutor the other day was like, we're gonna do chapter one to thirty one this week for David Copperfield. He was like, so make sure you really know the book and you know the novel. And I sat there and I thought, great. So um yeah, that's what I'm doing today lots of reading but i'm hoping i really want to finish ariane just because i want to know how jennifer saint is going to go about it um i have i think like 80 pages left maybe 90 so i think it's doable hello guys i'm here to give you an update on my greek retellings and what i'm reading so i was editing this video yesterday and i realized Last week I read one book, I read Ariadne and that was it. So I've decided we're just gonna read the most popular Greek retellings. Like I feel like that's the best way to go. So this is no longer reading only Greek retellings for a week. It's reading the most popular ones. So I'll read a few more. Although this video is gonna take me a while, like this is what it is, you know? Yesterday I finished Ariadne, I gave it four stars. I didn't expect the ending because I had read various versions of the myths online. I knew the myth very well. I like have a very vivid image of it. In year six, learning about Ariadne and the Minotaur, like I remember my teacher standing at the front and being and just explaining it to us. Like it's like a core memory for me. So Ariadne holds her. She's been there for me, you know. I didn't expect the ending, but it did make sense as to why it was gonna go the way that it went. But I think today I'm gonna pick up a thousand ships. I think we're gonna do a thousand ships by Natalie Haynes. So. This is the book. I bought this in a charity shop for like less than a for like 50 pence. Um, I saw it and I thought you will do to help with my dissertation. So this is what I'm currently gonna start. Okay, so 350 pages. So not too long, but I need to make a key, need to kind of figure out. And also I didn't realize this is, this was a women's prize for fiction shortlist 
nominee <laughs> that's what i was looking for nominee also decided i do think i'm gonna get cersei by madeline madeline miller because i feel like i can't really do my dissertation on greek retellings and not mention madeline miller that's what's happening this is about the women of troy i think so oh this is also great as well because i'm reading the odyssey right now which is great because this is this also mentions penelope so perfect okay right i'll see you guys soon with an update for a thousand ships on what I'm reading at the moment for the Greek retellings video. <laughs> I'm on page 105 of A Thousand Ships. I'm really enjoying this actually. I will say it's a little bit difficult to get into just because there are so many perspectives that we're reading from that I am slightly like confused like I don't know and there are also some points where I can't figure out if this is the myth or if this is like fictionalized myth if that makes any sense um i would definitely say i prefer ariadne so far but i prefer natalie haynes's style of writing i just prefer the storyline and the plot of ariadne i'm hoping to get like to 200 i don't think that's gonna happen to be honest with you i'm unsure but we will see just because i have a super busy like day today so don't come for me if i don't read that much even if i read 20 pages i'll be happy today Good morning, I've realised I haven't updated you on any of my reading for reading Greek retelling. So I finished A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes and I gave it a two stars. This book was very boring. I think just having so many POVs in, like there are so many, there's at least six different POVs in a standalone novel is very difficult to do and this kind of proves it. We didn't get a lot of time with each of the characters so I didn't really get to fully understand their story and connect with them i still felt very sorry for all of these women every single one i felt sorry for because they are dealing with their own battles and there were a couple of characters that did stick out to me um and i was like oh that's not fun that is not fun but overall the book just wasn't it just didn't give what i needed it to give i do think i will be using this for my dissertation weirdly enough because there's a whole section on penelope <laughs> i don't like it i just don't think i'm i like natalie haynes's writing that could be the way this goes like a book maybe isn't a problem because i saw jack edwards post about it and he was saying how he really enjoyed it and then i was like well i own this book i might use it for my disc so i'll have a go i didn't enjoy it at all i just felt it was very slow but then in the same breath though it just wasn't enough time with the characters and but i also wouldn't have wanted it to be longer like this length is perfect the content is just kind of covering too wide of a space. I've read it, it's done. I was going to read another book in this, but all of the books on my shelf, um, they're not relevant to my dissertation anymore because I've narrowed it down even further. So unfortunately, this is the end of the video. This video has taken me like three weeks to film, which is ridiculous for a video. But this is the way it goes. I'm sorry I've only read two books in this vlog. I did want to read more. It just didn't happen. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So we read Ariadne, which I gave four stars. And then this, this book, which I wouldn't recommend. I do feel like a lot of people would like it, but I just didn't. Like, it's just my opinion. I just didn't. And we gave this two stars. So I'm going to go now. I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, there is a video coming soon, which I'm very excited about, which is a similar style. I love doing the specific genre or trope videos, like reading, eh, reading, I don't know, dark academia for a week. I love doing those videos, so you'll be seeing a new one very soon.